Let's create a horizontal list of cards. So I have a group here with a gray background color and I'm going to start by adding a new visual component and name it card. Now I want my card to be 300 by 100 pixels and include a background color as well as some text like that. Now I'm going to use the font here I have just installed on my system and Noodle is going to pick that up. I'm going to center it as well and add a background color. So let's use white here. And now let's add a container, a group that handles the scrolling uh, where we'll place our cards. And there should be a horizontal layout with some scrolling and it should have the same height as its children. So let's add a few cards here. And to add multiple, I'm just going to copy, copy and paste a few in a bunch and just add them onto the group like that. All right. Now let's enable snapping. Now the spacing between the snap points is decided by this group. So right now this group is the same size of, as the screen. So the snap points will be the entire screen. So this will actually move multiple cards all at once. So to fix that, because I just want to scroll one card at a time, I'm going to make this the same size as the cards themselves. So now this will line up and now it would just, just move one card at a time. I'm going to center it. I'm going to add some margin and let's add some spacing between the cards as well. Now we can't add margins up here because then the size of this card will be bigger than 300 pixels and then the snapping won't line up. So let's use padding instead, which is why I have this extra group down here. So this group is the one with the background color and this is just a container for with the correct size. So here we can now add some padding like that and it should stay centered. And now it looks and snaps like we want it to. And let's just add a shadow as well. So let's go down here, shadow enabled. Uh, let's increase the blur radius, maybe the shadow opacity just a bit as well. And then we can open it up in the preview just to make sure it looks good. All right, we can resize the screen. It should stay centered. We can make it smaller as well. It should still be centered. And of course, we can add some border radius to make it look a little bit more like a card, like that. And that's how you create a horizontal list of cards.